Hi, I'm Alois Rosero from pingskills.com. Today we're going to look at weight transfer during your shots. When we talk about weight transfer for your strokes, it isn't a big transfer from here all the way to here, 100% of your weight on one leg to 100% of weight on the other. So all it is, if you think about being in a balanced position, 50% of your weight on your left leg, 50% of your weight on your right leg. When you're playing the stroke, the weight will transfer slightly, maybe 70%, and 30% to 30% and 70%. That's the way we transfer our weight during a stroke. The other thing that is important is there's also the twist during your stroke. So you're actually twisting and loading up your back leg, twisting and then loading up your front leg. So a forehand would be load up your Back leg, load up your front leg. That's all it is. It's not this to this, it's just this to this. The closer you are to the table and the faster the ball is coming at you, the less weight transfer you need. So if you're really close and you're just blocking, it might just be a slight weight transfer from your back leg to your front leg. If you're further away from the table and you're wanting to generate more power, then you can think about having a bigger transfer from your back leg to your front leg, from here to here to generate extra power. And if you're going for a big smash off a high ball, then you're probably gonna get maybe 90% of your weight onto your back leg and then transfer 90% to your front leg. But you've still got a little bit of weight here to keep your balance. So why do we need the twist? The twist adds to our power as well. So we're getting the weight to transfer back with the twist onto your back leg. And then as you twist forward, it comes onto your front leg. Again, just enabling you to add more speed and power to your strokes. When you're blocking, you need very little weight transfer. Just hold your balance and a little bit of weight transfer from your back leg to your front. With the backhand, there's even less weight transfer between your back leg and your front leg. So when you're blocking, basically you're just holding your position and controlling the ball here with a very balanced position 50% on both your back and your front leg. As you start to want to generate a bit more power, you can start to use your upper body for more power. When you do use your transfer, is if you're further away from the table and you have much more time and then you can transfer from your back leg to your front leg for a big topspin or even if you're making a stronger smash stroke. When you're close to the table, your upper body is coming up. As you get further away from the table, that's when you can start to add the twisting of the waist, similar to what we did on the forehand side. 